and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon Legends Arceus Nuzlocke Challenge, where in today's episode we have to release Flockhart. <laughs> this is going to be so hard, you guys. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like I don't even know if it's possible to beat this game with Nuzlocke rules. Like, I've just been playing through on my main, I'm like at home on my main playthrough. Like, where things can just die. And stuff gets knocked out all the time. Even when I feel like I am preparing. I'm like, okay, I think I know what's coming. Make Try and make a good decision. Bam! So, gosh, I think I've been really trying to think, like, how are we going to do this in any kind of doable way? Like, how do I, how do I do it? I feel like something I've been testing out a little bit more. These are the leaders of the Diamond and Pearl clan. <laughs> Get it? Diamond, Pearl, Sinnoh. Ah. Ah, you can find the space. There is all, nothing to do with blah, blah, blah. Oh, excuse me. Are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make of vast history space? Oh, arguing about space and time. It's like they want to force these things. It's like they argue about such silly things, right? I think our way forward is going to have to be to be extremely defensive extremely conservative like no glass cannons because they're just gonna get blasted right that's it's not it's not viable in this game nearly as much not nearly as much we need to be conservative because you can hit hard with almost anything lots of stuff has really good moves it's about survivability that's the name of the game oh gosh oh gosh it's gonna be it's gonna be hard Oh, well, not our problem, but you'll have problems face if you don't get yourself to the commander's office, Jay. All right, see ya. Bye-bye now. All right, anyway, let's go over here. We got business to take care of. Jump! Dodge! Bam! Woohoo! All right, we got to go talk to the Pokemon Ranch over here, which is uh, going to be a very not full place, probably. The pastures house many Pokemon. Oh, oh it's going to hurt. I'm so sorry. Our original Pokemon. Why? 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 I hate it! Oh, this, it, that just, it just hurts, you know? It just really hurts. Can we change your moves? Do you have more moves you can learn? No. No, yes, I'm done changing moves. What about, what about you? Do you have different moves? Prongs? No, you've got everything. All right, all right, fine, fine, yes. We're good. We're good. I think nice, it, like nice, great example of a Pokemon we need to like really focus on because really high defense, really good. We gotta make sure we just stay away from anything though that might have water or grass or fighting or steel. <laughs> just stay away, 10 foot stick. I feel like big bulky normal types like prongs, I feel like gonna be, oh, you don't need to have super, you have good defense, like a special defense. You have super good regular defense. See, this though, look at these guys, not high on the defensive stats at all. What about you? Really not high on most good attack, I guess. Neo, I love, look, you guys know I love Paris. I love me some Paris, but I don't know if Neo's gonna stick around. Your Pokemon left a little something behind. Oh yeah, Grit Dust. Okay, so this is good. These are kind of like the vitamins of this game. We're gonna go ahead and use that immediately because you can boost some stats with it. Let's go ahead and use, let's give it to Nice. And we're gonna, oh, already defense boost. Already defense is boosted. We're gonna boost special defense. We're gonna use that grit dust and focus on defense, special defense, and HP on everything before we focus on attack. That is the way forward. That is the way forward. You, can you give me money? Buy clothes, oh, you guys know I love buying me some clothes. Headband? Okay, what does this look like? I can't see what it looks like. Well, if I can't see what it looks like, then I am sorry, but I cannot. Why can't I see it? It's supposed to, shouldn't it preview what it's going to look like? Woven hat? No, a thousand bucks. Well, this is... Is it because we're wearing the, the bandana? But still, why isn't it changing? Is that like part of the thing? I don't know. Fancy kimono. Ooh, look at that. That looks fun. Although it, a reminder of Flockhart. But if we can get the money, we're buying that as a reminder of good old Flockhart. What kind of pants can we get? Oh, we can get Rowlet pants too. We can get everyday trousers. We can get purple pants. That looks pretty good. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, at the moment, I think we're just going to stick in our regular outfit. It's fine. It's fine. See you later. We're looking good. We don't need you. What about you? You ch you can change hairstyling. Ho oh, ho! I hate that you have to pay up front. You don't pay after. Like if even if I don't change anything, that just costs me five hundred dollars to come look. Unacceptable. All right. Let's see. What do we want? We want sh that's no. That doesn't look bad. That's just regular survey core style. Oh, okay. So that's like our hairstyle. That's why I probably looked that way. So we could just go regular dawn. What is shorn? No. Curled? No, what are we, our mom? I don't think so. Braids? Interesting. Maybe we go for the long. Or I kind of like the bandana, though. Can we change? This is... Oh, I don't know about that. Just black? Or what were we on? Chestnut white? I think the black just looks good, though. Uh, this is our, like, eyebrow color? Oh! Slate. Black? We'll go for just black. Yeah, so at least we changed something. All right. Great. All we did was change our eyebrow color. $500 Pokebucks. Well spent. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You look simply wonderful. All right. That felt like a waste of time. I'm not going to lie. Let's go talk to the commander. Come back anytime, my dear. All right. We're off. Roll up those stairs, little Jay. Oh, we are gonna have a very difficult time. Did we did we level up our Pokedex at all? Is that something we can do? Mm-hmm, let's see. No, we did not. Okay, so that's a bummer. Uh, we're gonna have to, I think, the, the fast way to do that is by catching stuff, which obviously we can't do because of the nature of our Problem. What do you want? You can't. I'm looking for a pickling stone. Called Geodude. A perfect pickling stone. I mean, I am unwilling to give you my. To give to Radisa? Oh, no, no, no. I can't give you nice. I can't give you nice. No, no, no. Nice is our most defensive Pokemon. We need him. Sorry, you're gonna have to be stuck with your unpickled jar, or whatever you needed. What do you intend to do about that cleaver, Commander Kamado? He may be descended from a warrior of almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. Cleaver, awesome Pokemon. That's because it evolves from Scyther, the best Pokemon. Maybe that'll be the exception. We'll just have a Scyther on our team because I, I always wanted one. That's the point, my clan can't intervene directly where a lord of the Pearl Clan's concerned, if my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats, just like we used to be. Boy, that guy has got quite a hairstyle going. Something's got to be done here. Mm -hmm. I know. That guy who fell out of the sky, he can solve the problem. Mm -hmm. I don't believe I said that. Thought it, maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver into a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This is a first, as far as my clan knows, too. Hmm, I see you've arrived. Yes, me, champion. This is Jay, the newest member of our survey corps. Mm-hmm. Aha, uh -huh, I hear from my you earned Weirdeer's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the Rift. That's me. I am adamant, I get it, like the um, adamantium, or adam adamant. Isn't that what the adamant stone and the iridescent stone? These two are obviously, I mean. Ugh. Meant for uh, Palkia and Dialga. I'm iridescent, like iridescent, like pearl. <laughs> Hilarious, which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? Yep, mm-hmm. Thank you, Commander. I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before deciding what needs to be done? You'd send the stranger who fell from the rift to study Cleaver with no experience? Says the leader with almost no experience. <laughs> Being a good leader isn't a matter of time, it's a matter of embracing his or whatever. Okay, come on, guys, we get it. I have to go fight Cleaver. We understand. Mm-hmm. Yup, yup, yup. Okay, okay. This is your mission now, Jay. I order you to study Cleaver and help us find the truth to this situation. I accept! Yeah! Me and my black eyebrows say, yes! Remember that day your stranger appeared? The various people are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. If 
Frenzy of the Lord of the Woods. All right, we're on it. No time like the present. Lord of the Woods, Cleaver is the center for a Pokemon that was blessed with the almighty of Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you've yet encountered can compare to a shrink. Be warned! Everyone, calm down. Calm down. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relationship with the Diamond Pearl Clans, understand? Understood. Join me downstairs, Jay. Ah, uh, this guy. This guy's got the best business in all of Sinnoh or Hisui or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Ugh, this guy's like, yeah, he can make your inventory space bigger, but it keeps getting more and more expensive. So like, eventually it's costing you like 10,000 poke bucks. Yeah. But like the first few you should definitely just do because you need the more space because we're going to need to be able to pick stuff up out in the wild, whatever. Not as much stuff though because like we don't necessarily need as many Pokeballs as you otherwise might. But we'll get a few here. Why not? We need, we need more space in the old satchel. The uh, tricky thing is that the game will like try and fill this space with just complete nonsense stuff, right? Like they'll give you balls of mud and those spoiled eight apricorns. It's like, ah, they're just trying to make you take up space. Like you could, I guess, throw them at Pokemon if you want to um, try and agitate them so you can catch them faster. But one, we don't need to do that because we don't need to catch that many things. And two, I have almost played through the whole game already at home and I barely use that stuff. So it is pointless. Or it has been pointless for me. The berries can be good for sure. And they're good for healing. So we want that. We're going to be focusing way more on like potion creation and things of that nature. Um, here we go. Can we head out, please, into the next area? How are things, my good friend? Oh my gosh, you'd think you could get anywhere in this game. Someone's gonna stop you every three steps. I certainly hope you're putting that secret backstrike technique and taught you to good use. Well, well, but of course I am. Either way, I have some super potions here just for you. Oh, think nothing of it. Having the survey cause out and about stunning Pokemon is great for business, you know. Supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. Okay, great. Man, I tell you, I do not know how trustworthy this guy is. He seems like he's just like, oh yeah, I'm here to help, wink. I, I feel like he's mostly interested in something. Else. I feel like, I don't know yet, I feel like he's secret villain. We're gonna go to the Heights camp. Why not, so we can get a little bit further, not to run as far. Although who knows, maybe we should just take the opportunity to you know, train our Pokemon more. We need to catch one more thing. We can catch our one more thing now, if I recall. We have to head this way. Who, who are we gonna be leading off with is the question. I feel like Mercury is the best one to lead off with, but it's important to get nice some levels as well. Mercury has the most type coverage. What land are we in? Deer Track Heights. So we've caught something. I don't know if we caught something in Warren Bridge, did we? Did we catch something in Warren Bridge? Nature's Pantry? Grand Tree Arena? Let's see, can we see where we caught everything? Um, oh boy. Sure we can. Check summary. Where were you caught? Gotta say. Obsidian Fields lands. Oh no, it doesn't really say. Deer Track Heights. Nature's Pantry. Okay, so we did catch something there. Hmm. Okay, so we are in Nature's Pantry. Warren Bridge, Aspiration Hill, Deer Track, okay. All right, we're just not gonna catch anything here, obviously, but we are gonna fight you, die! And we're off. All the free experience we can get, right? Thunder Fang! Gotta do lots of fights, y'all, lots of fights. Need to be getting all that experience. Ooh, how do we get down there? Oh my. Ah, this is gonna be quite a walk, it looks like. That's all right. We can do it. Get to Cleaver. Thunderfang! We're gonna need lots of these herbs, too. I feel like potions and stuff are gonna be really important to this playthrough. Making sure we're constantly healed because I just can't overstate how easy it is to get knocked out by things. Very frustrating. Nice thing. Good job, Mercury. You're crushing it. You're doing great. We're all very impressed.
Oh, there's that mighty parasite. Are you gonna run from me? You gonna run from me, bro? Come on, Geodude, you got nothing. If we can pick up, the Geodudes are good because they drop that like grit, gravel too. I feel like the more of that stuff we can get early, the better off we're gonna be because we're gonna want lots of um, any additional stat boosts we can get on stuff, especially defensively, going to pay dividends down the road for sure. So just have to. The Starlies, this seems like such a minor waste of time. That's where we're heading that big tree over there. Get some points there. So I think you may as well just go ahead and get all these little bits of free experience while we can, right? There's a bridge down there. We need to keep an eye on if we travel into a new area so we can catch something. I know the Scythers are coming up too, so it's possible we catch a Scyther. Oh, how dare you run from me and Mercury. <clears throat> we are offended by your running. Frankly, frankly. Okay, there's the Parises. These guys. So funny that we made that video about Paris not long ago on the main channel, and Paris has become this like infamous like foe in this game, where it will just like attack you from all over. It's like so aggressive. Like, oh, <gasps> are we in a new area? Where are we? We have got to cross into a new area. Please, I want the Pikachu. <gasps> Oh, give me the chew. That looks rare. Give me the chew. We will lure you to a new area, Pikachu. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't run. Don't run. Stay right there. I will lure you into a new area if I must. Oh, what? We must be so close to a new area. We have got to be. We caught a Paris instead. Tidewater Dam. Okay. Can we lure the Pikachu to the Tidewater Dam? We, this is our goal. This is our goal. Okay. Okay. Pikachu. Pikachu. Get over here. Get to that berry. Get to that berry. We are going to do it. We are going to do it. It's going to happen. Come on. Follow the berry. Do it, do it. We're gonna lure you into a new area. This is a new strategy, right? Come on, you can do it. Get over here. Do not you dare get in the way, Cricketot, you fiend. Oh my God, no, Cricketot, go away. You total jerk, I do not. You, you're gonna, you get out of my way. You are getting out of my way right now. You are so dead to me. No, Pikachu, where are you going? No, 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 no. We are going to get that Pikachu. Stupid cricket tune. <gasps> if another. You dare. How did we not knock that out with fire thing right there? Like, that's what I'm saying. You know, like, seems like we should have knocked it out. Where did the Pikachu go? No, Pikachu, come back. Pikachu, come back. No, come back here. The cricket tune. Okay, come on. We're gonna do it. Lure the Pikachu over. Oh, that was not far enough. Lure the Pikachu into the Tidewater area. Come, Pikachu. Get the berry. Oh, no! Stop it! Go away! <laughs> this is this is the worst. Go away, Cricketu. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Oh my god, I'm so mad. Go away. Are there, is it, was this the same one? Why, why were you back? Go away, cricket. Okay, now I see, see, now immediately I'm like, just heal Mercury. Okay. Where is my dumb berry? Can I get you to come this far? Yes. Can 
can I get you to come this far? If that cricket tune comes back, come Pikachu. Follow the berry. Do it, do it. Yes, 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 yes. Do it. Yes. Okay, as far as I'm concerned, we're in a new area. No! Pikachu, don't go! Come back! It didn't change, right? We didn't switch back into the... We got him! Come on! We're there. We threw it from inside this area. No! Chica poo. No, okay. Okay, that's fine. We'll fight you. Yes, follow me. Make no mistake. Make no mistake. We're gonna get it. This is happening. This is happening. We had to lure him into the air. That was the real problem. Okay. Now watch us just knock him, knock him out. That would be the worst. I guess maybe we should Thunderfang it, right? That'll definitely not knock it out. That should do the least amount of damage. Okay, all right, all right, here we go. Come on, yes, throw it, go. Go, Pikachu. We can do this. No! Do not you run from me. Quick attack, nothing. Now, I think we already have an electric type, and this isn't a particularly defensive Pokemon, but we're gonna get him. Her, I guess, it's a female Pikachu. You tell him the channel. Oh, we got it! Ben, you're right on time, bro. Ben just walked in the moment we caught a Pokemon. It's like he could tell. It's like he could tell. What? Backpack and everything's still on. Backpack and everything. We, we got... have a Pikachu! Oh, Pikachu! That's right. Change name. Okay. What do you got? Oh, man. Uh, let's think here. What would be so we've had sporkles before. Mm -hmm. there, we had sporkles. Like, can we can is there a way to pay homage to old sporks? Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay. Do you, do you think that a a fork like a spork, like spoon or something? A spoon is pretty funny, or I was gonna say forkles. Forkles. If if like a spork <laughs> grows up to be a fork someday. Oh, okay. <laughs> I also like spoon. <laughs> we can go with Spoon. Spoon. And then it's just hilarious to say every time. Spoon! <laughs> All right. Homage to the Mighty Sparkles is Spoon. Uh, we're going to give Spoon a, um, a potion. We're going to drop this mud. That's gone. We're going to drop this apricorn. See, they try and fill up your valuable inventory space. All right, now we're in a new area for sure. Um, look at that. That was tricky. We had to lure, lure it in. Okay, let's see. Can we fight? The, oh, wait. Can we fight? Aha! See, I'm almost afraid to fight the Bibarel because I feel like it's going to be weirdly strong. Maybe not. We'll find out. We're going to knock out this Bidoof anyway. Get some experience for us. Thunderfang. It's all about the experience. We've got to level up as much as possible. Oh my gosh. See, watch. Watch how much it's going to hit. Roll out. Oh god, that's scary. Fixate on using rollout. So as long as we don't miss, we've got the knockout here nice and easy. But like, what if that had been the Bibarel? It's right there. All right. But we, we also, we can't just live in fear, you know? We cannot be controlled by fear. We must, we must also have courage or we will not, we will not succeed in this Nuzlocke. So let's see. Let's just see. Let's just see. Now he's there. All right. <clears throat> how do we do with the Bibbrel? It's level 16. It used Tackle. You see how much damage it did? I don't like it. We're running. Oh, forget it. Yep. See ya. Never mind. Don't need that kind of nonsense happening. Let's go. Let's go. Barry. Yeah. All right, big mercs. We're going to need so many Orin Berries, y'all. Can we, can we just make potions? We can. Let's just... Oh, we can make a lot. Let's make a lot. Let's make like... 
12. Okay, super, super duper. We're gonna knock out these Badoofs, that's what we're gonna do. So look at that, it's an alpha bib Earl over there. We gotta avoid that thing at basically all costs. Thunderfang! I guess on the flip side, the Badoofs don't have the water typing just yet, so they're kind of, um, they're not like, we're not hitting them for stabs, so there's that. But important, the other important thing is we have a Pikachu, right? Very exciting. Number of defeated, five, level up. Okay, so we want to avoid that guy for sure. Can we avoid it? Oh gosh. Can we avoid it? It looks, I mean, can we walk over here? Oh, no. Okay, 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 okay. We can't do that. Can we creep past it? Can we give it the old creep? Oh, it's going to see us. Oh, it's going to see us. There's no way around it. We're just going to creep. Oh, God, it looks, it looks so angry. It just don't attack us. Oh, gosh. What? Did it hit us? With what? Run. Run, little Jay. Ah! No! That was scary. Look at that. It's not like a homing missile after us. I don't like that. The Heartwood. Okay. We're in the Heartwood. We are in the Heartwood. There's a low punny. Now, I want to be real tricky here because I know it's pos. There is Scyther afoot, right? They are around. And if we can catch one, we want one. The question is, are we in the right spot? There's the Grand Tree Arena. Now we're in the Heartwood. I know where the Scythers are. Let me go ahead and tell you that. They're right up that hill. So maybe we're gonna go try and find one right now, which also means we're gonna try and uh, heal. Now, what we wanna do is sneak up on it uh, as best we can. Can we get up? I think they're maybe across that river. Grand Tree over there. See, there's Wurmples and stuff. We don't care that much about the Wurmples. The Scythers are across, though. I think they are up, up that hill. So let's go try and find them. Medicinal Leak, excellent, excellent. We're still in the Heartwood area. Can we climb this hill? Or is it besting us? Now, I'm pretty sure, yeah. The Scyther, they should be up, that's where they are. I'm pretty sure they're right over there. I'm not mistaken. I have done this. I want to see the scythe. I, no, that's where they are. That's where they should be. There you go. Come on. Mercury. Should be right up this hill. Can we find one? Can we catch it? Get up the hill. You can do it, little Jay. There you go. All right. We're gonna find one. I know they're around. There it is! Oh my gosh! <gasps> okay, we have got it. We want to avoid fighting it if we can. We just want to sneak up on it and. We want it to. We want it to back to be turned to us. Go to the berry, big sight. Can we catch it? Oh, we got it! Yes! Ah, oh, that's so exciting! Ah, we have a Scyther, that's so fun. Now, of course, we don't have a way to switch to it, but we have one, so we will switch to it soon. Soon, it's gonna happen. That's happening, for sure. Um, oh man, how exciting, what a glorious day. What a truly glorious day in the history of all of the Nuzlocks we've ever done. Am I right? Oh gosh, I kind of want to fight that one. See if we can get some experience. But also I'm afraid to fight it because they're, they hit hard. Let's see. Uh, oh, there's dust oxes over there. Maybe those would be better to fight. They seem easier to fight than a Scyther maybe. Um, we have Scyther and that's the important thing. That's the important thing. I have to go name it once we get back to camp and can do that. We want to go knock out some dust oxes though and get some experience, I think. They look easily 
knockoutable, if you ask me. Die, Dust Ox! Now, you guys know I love Dust Ox, though, as well. Because we we kept the Dust Ox on one of our final teams forever with Mighty Siru. And if we run across a shiny Dust Ox, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose my mind with excitement, because that would be the best thing ever. Unlikely, but, you know, it's always possible. You can see the Dust Ox. There is, like, a little bit higher shiny encounter rate in this game, because you can, um... There's, like, mass outbreaks, so we can maybe try and, like, find mass outbreaks at some point and just look around and see if a shiny shows up. That'll give us some extra catching opportunities, plus then we'd have a shiny, which is always fun. Defeated the Dust Ox. Yay, Mercury. Get that level up. Fantastic. Look at everyone leveling up, like, mad on these Dust Ox. These are good training Pokemon, it turns out. Let's see if we can find some more. I'm enjoying knocking them out. Oh, there's one. Whee! Just casually jumping down that. Yeah, you're going down, Dust Ox. Boom! They give up so much EXP because they're like a, a fully evolved Pokemon, which is nice. And we can just one-hit KO them. No problem! Boom. Oh, I say that, but then we don't. <laughs> you got it, Miles! I feel like this is redemption. No, I called him Miles, oh no. I feel like it's redemption for Miles because <laughs> we lost Miles so early last time, just like we lost Flockhart this time. No! <gasps> my star, I'm letting my starter Pokemon down so bad. I feel bad about it. But now we have Mercury, not Miles. Oh my gosh, that was a terrible slip. I apologize, Mercury. You are not your predecessor. You are yourself and you deserve to be treated as such. Let's knock out this Dust Ox. Give it the old Fire Fang. Dust Ox, you tackled. There's two of them. Uh oh. Okay, so we're gonna go. Okay. Oh, can we one hit KO it? Yes, okay, that's good. It's unlikely that one of them will knock us out. Poison powder, I don't like that one bit. Nope, 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 but we are poisoned, so we will take some damage. Have we mastered this move yet? Oddly, no. That'd be great, because we could just strong style it and almost guarantee. Avoided the attack! Hit my poison! So you see how much damage it did? <gasps> okay. Nope, don't like this. We're running. We have to be careful. We are not gonna lose to a rogue dust stocks like that. No siree, Bob. That's not how we're going down the day. The good news is like you don't stay poisoned like after battles and stuff. So realistically. <laughs> <laughs> just stop, heal, now we go back into the fight. And this thing's going down. Iron defense, okay, so it'll probably live through the fire fang now. But, maybe not. Bam! No, it lived. Just don't poison us. Well, okay, we got it. Fire fang! Give us some levels, Dust Ox! This is what we want. Let's go see what Dust Ox is doing there with the improved... I think improving our defense and lowering their attack is going to be a very key strategy for this entire run. Like, those are the things to focus on. Or typically, I would say, improve our attack. Not this time. This time, I am much more of the lower their attack. Don't let them hurt us. Because there's so few, like, multiple, like, trainers where you fight multiple Pokemon in a row. It's most of the time it's just like big single one-on-one -on -one fights. So if we can just lower their attack and make it way harder for them, then we can like safely switch around and stuff. But I will say this, one of the weird caveats of this game is that um, you don't necessarily always um, have, and like the, the, the drops don't last permanently. So you can, um, like, lower something's attack, but it'll only be lowered for, like, four turns or something. Which, you know, has its pros and cons, I suppose. Uh, like, I think, as a result, the lowering of the attack is way more effective. Like, it really drops their attack pretty dramatically. But, of course, it's not permanent, so there's that. Um, I think we have fought enough of the dust oxes around here. We have... We're at level 20. I know we've been doing just a lot of fights with Mercury, but he's got the special... We know Mercury is a safe bet, right? So that's that's part of why we're doing it. We haven't picked up any, like, Grit Graveler or anything. No, okay. 
But I'm so excited we caught Scyther! Ugh! How exciting. We had a Scizor in the last run, but never did we actually have Scyther, which of course is the is the superior Pokemon. We all know it. We all know it to be true. Like, why would you ever evolve your Scyther? I, well, I say that. I'm playing with Cleaver in my main game because I was like, wow, this is cool. But, um, you know, you gotta try stuff out. You gotta support. You gotta support the species as a whole. And if Scyther has a new evolution line, I owe it to Scyther to play that evolution line, I think, you know, as a, as a long time. Okay, do not make me run all the way around. Oh, gosh, no, get out of the water. Get out of the water. Woo. Ah. Okay, I gotta run all the way around. Ugh. Taking forever. We're gonna go talk to the guy at the gate now for Cleaver. Because I think you actually have to go back to camp one more time and then come back here, weirdly. Or they make you run like another errand um, at some point. You! You're going down, Psyduck! I'm just gonna Thunder Fang you right in the face. Die! You're dead. Exactly. See you later. See you later! 101, boom. Look at little Spoon down there, F level 15. Already picked up five levels this episode. Mercury, putting in the work though. You gotta love it, well done, big Mercury. You are doing work for us. Look at this guy. He looks like, there's like another gym leader who's got like this big hat, Cliff, Clay? And he's like a rock gym leader. I guess, is this like, is this supposed to be an homage to him? Maybe it is. Maybe this is supposed to be like him as a kid or something. Of course I am. I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerfully awesome Cleaver has become even more powerfully awesome. <laughs> Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was Almighty Sinnoh's divine power. But I like the idea that this little kid has a very deep voice. Yeah, but whatever it was, I struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome mind. So I must turn you away, even if it paints me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleaver right now. I'll do anything. Look at my black eyebrows. What? Anything? I didn't expect you to say that. <gasps> oh, such earnest desire to meet Almighty Cleaver. But, well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms by Hirata that I am to let no one near Cleaver. I'll fight you off myself if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now while you still can. Or face the wrath of my Gumi. Eh, hold on a sec. Let me get ready to fight your Gumi is what I think. Um, what is Gumi going to be weak to? Probably Ice Fang, actually. So let's just go ahead and do this. Okay. And, uh... Get rid of this ball of mud. Don't need that. All right, bring it on, dude. I'll take you on, you dumb Goomy, Lin. I'll fight you off myself. You wish to avoid battle, withdraw now. I'll take you on. It's nice that he tells me what the Pokemon's gonna be. I will say Goomy is a Pokemon that has an alternate evolution line here in this game. So Gudra looks pretty crazy when it's fully evolved. All right, Goomy, you've got nothing. Ice Fang! We're amazing! We did it! You did, battle decided. What a tremendously difficult fight that ended up being. We will take nothing lightly though. Nothing! Everything's gonna be difficult. Da -da -da -da. How can this be? Oh, I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleaver now. The only welcome you'll get is if you approach him in a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I'd simply try making him an offering, a nice heaping of his two favorite foods, served up with respect by his loyal warden. That's me, of course. Usually, it's enough to please him and soothe the prickliest of moods. But even I, Cleaver's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give any offerings now. Now the way Cleaver is rampaging and running amok, there's nothing an outsider like you can do. Aha! Here it is here! The ancestors of Cleaver, Weirdeer, and their cohort drew on Almighty Sinnoh's power to protect Pokemon and people alike. So it said, it's by their grace that our clan, that any of us, still lives in the vast Tissui today. What are you doing here? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What indeed? As you say, Cleaver's grown even stronger, blah blah, struck by lightning. Cleaver means so much to our clan, I hope we could bring the situation under control ourselves, but not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But we must save Cleaver from his friendly. Every moment continues, the danger grows. More people and Pokemon are attacked. It will lead to a conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy Team. Mm. Sad face. Mm. You, stranger from beyond the sky, tell me, could you Galaxy people actually fix all this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quill Lord's frenzy? Yeah, I'll figure something out. It's fine. I got it. Very well. Lee and I will gather foods that please Cleaver in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you must search every corner of his Yui. All right, yeah. I'm on it. See ya. <gasps> My phone! 
The answer now enables you to return to base camps in an instant. Yay. I guess we have to go back to base camp, which is good because we can pick up Scyther. Hooray, hurrah. All right, check this out. Boom. All this running, we're going back to Heights Camp. Let's go. You there. If you're heading out into the wilds, best be prepared. I want to see my Pokemon. Which Pokemon will you bring with you? Obviously, Big Scythe. Sorry, Neo, you shall, you, you know, we caught you. Uh, let's see, can we change moves on Big Scythe here? We cannot, but we already are pretty so double hit. Dam user adopts a hard hitting stance to increase the damage dealt by its move by 50%. So, not bad, but also dangerous because that means we take a turn where we can get hit. And Scyther doesn't have tremendous um, defenses, as you can see. Special defense, lower defense. However, attack really high. So I know I just said we're not going to do glass cannons or probably try to avoid that. But Scyther, obvious exception because it's my favorite Pokemon ever. This has been quite a day for catching. We have Spoon and Scyther. It's amazing. Um, okay, so let's also use a rest. Yeah, rest it up for a while. Hold on. Ben is right around the corner. We'll get a new name. Um, but, but, but maybe you can, can we get some reporting done here? Good to see you, Jane. How's your research at the Cleaver going? Swimmingly, I expect. Oh, is that so? That's quite a tidbit. So serving us favorite food. Mm-hmm. Now I need to mull this over back at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear girl. Should I? All right. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, look at that money we earned. Crazy. Amazing. Yeah, we didn't get a ton of points. It's going to be hard to level up our Pokedex. <laughs> Which means it might be difficult to get Pokemon to listen to us. That's the real danger there. Um, so we'll have to try and work on that. So according to the information... Mm -hmm. Favorite foods. I do wonder... The aromas! Ah! Alright. Give me a moment if you would. I need some time to ponder. That to be something in my research notes that can help us. Da 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 da! I have a solution. Mhm. Mm Does that guy? Does he have pit stains going right there? Come on, dude. I think it's just shadow. I think. I thought of it. Eureka! We'll have to throw the food. <laughs> what a plan! What a man of science! <laughs> I've got it. We'll throw it at him. You can throw things, right? Yeah. Oh boy. How about tea time balls? Puts one in mind of a nice relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? Uh, why not Lavington balls? Oh, that name, it sounds like I'm the one being launched at our frenzied friend. All right. My goodness. You should hurry back to the Grand Tree Arena. Tell the Pearl Clan our brilliant plan. If you're after Grand Tree Arena, best set out from Heights Camp, eh? I reckon. Ben, I need a name! Yes. Yes. Ba boom. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? A scyther! No, you did. We not. did. Yeah, yeah. Big scythe. Big Dude. S. I feel like. I feel like it needs to be named after you somehow. Oh. Oh. Right? I, I, mean, I like the sound of that. I mean, this is this is Jay's favorite. This favorite Mon. Favorite is Mon. Oh, let's see here. And there's your middle name, Lewis. There is. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, um, there's the Jazz. <laughs> the, the Jazz. The Jazz. <laughs> jazz J. Um, hmm. I, feel, I feel like it needs to be particularly epic. Scyther is just like one of the coolest looking. There's no doubt. It's got little sword arms. You know, it's pretty good. Okay, okay. So sword arms. That's amazing. Man, I'm, I'm having me a hardcore struggle, man. This feels like... So you can tell how special it is. I, I mean, truly, though. I mean, this is like, you know... It's like something. It's like something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Alternatively, he's green. There's that. Like, like one Grogu. Oh, dare we? I think we could. Like, just straight... Just straight Grogu? Just straight homage. He has a... He's going to have a sword soon. Hopefully, probably. All right. <laughs> I love it. There we go. Grogu the Scyther. Welcome to the team. Boom. Look at our glorious team so far. 
Look at them. Buizo, Geodude, Stantler, Scyther, Pikachu. Look, double electric maybe is not the best um, strategy right now. However, however, otherwise we just have double bug. So, you know. And I can tell you from experience that Paris is not going to learn tons of grass attacks. So I think we're going to stick with that right now. And I think this is where we're going to end the episode. Oh, look at the little Oshawa. It's so cute. He's just, he just stay. Oh, I thought he was standing on the water. I was like, no, that's impressive. There's a rock. Anyway, next time we are going to head to the Grand Tree Arena and fight Cleavor. Uh, probably not with our uh, Scyther because he's rock type and he would just wreck us. So what we're going to have to do is probably train up Louisa a little bit and then go fight Cleaver because we want those big water attacks to smack him with. But otherwise, uh, thank you so much for watching today's episode. Don't forget to leave a like on it if you haven't already. And subscribe so you don't miss any future Nuzlocke action from us. But otherwise, until next time, bye! And before we go, just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to all of our amazing patrons over on Patreon. Abby Mondin, Afropunk, Aiden Rudineres, Brianna Bouchard, Bryant, Dakota Valentine, Eduardo Bravo, Emerald Phoenix, Gamers Ilia, Gregory Lee, Jade Culture, James Buzanel, Karen Choi, Kimberly Lee, Lauren Alexandra, Luxpa92, Rashaba, Robbie Cruz, Stacy, and 0412. Again, thank you all so much for your continued support over on Patreon. If you'd like to see your name on this wall, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. We also have some other really awesome tiers like our quarterly merch tier and one option to sit down and play some games with me and Ben once a month. If any of that sounds interesting to you, go check it out. Dead spork. <laughs>